My name is Reverend Ivan Sagoya, Care and Fellowship Pastor here at SITAM Boruburu. This year at SITAM we have been focusing on the theme Positioned for Impact. And I believe that God has a specific purpose for us as SITAM as we position ourselves this year. This theme is drawn from the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8 where the Bible says that wait in Jerusalem until you endured with power from above. Then you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria. That is our goal this year, that God will empower us to be his witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, and in Samaria. As we talk about being positioned for impact, I want to draw our attention to the book of Acts chapter 6, from verse 1 to verse 7. Acts chapter 6, from verse 1 to verse 7. And the Bible says in Acts chapter 6, verse 1, that in those days... When the number of disciples were multiplied, there arose a multitude of the Grecian against the Hebrews, because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them, and said, It is not the reason that we should leave the word of God and serve the tables. Therefore, brethren, look among us, Seven men of honest report or of good reputation, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom, whom we, whom we may appoint over this business. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And they, and they, say, and they say this, pleasing the all multitude. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and the Holy Spirit, and Philip and Prochorus, and Nicana, and Timnon, and Parmenas, and Nicholas, and Proselyte of Antioch. Today I want to draw our attention when we talk about positioning for impact. And I want to speak to us today on the topic positioning for leadership, or positioned for leadership. As the disciples waited in Jerusalem, they were praying. And as they were praying, God empowered them with power from above. In fact, the Bible says that while they were waiting in Jerusalem, while they were praying, the Holy Spirit came upon them and they spoke in tongues. And Peter preached to the multitude and many added to the numbers of those who were saved. And even after that, the disciples in the book of Acts chapter 3 began performing great miracles. And we are told that at the gate of the beautiful temple, there was a man there who had been crippled from birth they prayed for him, they spoke healing in his life, and his life was transformed. As the disciples were doing great things, and as they were going about their ministry, there arose a leadership lapse amongst them. And that's why in the book of Acts chapter 6, from verse 1, we are told that a case of discrimination arose among the Grecian Jews and the Hebrews Jews. In fact, they were distributing food, and we are told that the Hebrews... Uh, were basically discriminating against the Grecian women in food distribution. The disciples came together and they decided to sort out their leadership mess. One of the most amazing and interesting things about this text in the book of Acts chapter 6 from verse 1 is the fact that the disciples noticed amongst themselves that they needed leadership. Remember the disciples were already creating impact. They were already ministering to people. They were already bringing people into the kingdom of God. They were already performing miracles. In other words, there was already impact in their lives. In other words, they were already performing impact. In fact, they were already creating impact. They were already positioning themselves for impact. And as they were positioning themselves for impact, challenges were coming around them. But I like what they said in the book of Acts chapter 6 verse 3. They said that look out among us and choose seven men of honest report. In other words, seven men of great character. Choose amongst us also seven men full of the Holy Spirit. Choose amongst us also seven men full of wisdom. And this year, as we're positioning ourselves for impact, 
we also want to position ourselves for great leadership. And I want to encourage us today that as believers, God has given us an opportunity for great leadership in our homes, in our businesses, and in the nation at large, in our schools and in our neighborhood. And I believe that as believers, God has equipped us with skills. God has equipped us with knowledge. God has equipped us with sensitivity for better leadership. And that's why in the book of Acts chapter 6, from verse 1 to verse 7, the disciples were able to notice that there was a leadership lapse amongst them. As much as they had positioned themselves for impact, as much as they were already creating an impact, they noticed that there was a leadership, there was a leadership lapse. And now they decided to position themselves and to build themselves even for greater impact in the area of leadership. And that's why they said that they needed men with three qualities, seven men with three qualities. One, men of great character or honest report or men of great reputation. Two, men full of the Holy Spirit. Three, men full of wisdom. And as we look at this area of positioning ourselves for impact, I want to encourage us that in our workplaces, God has put us there with the power that comes from him to be men who will be able to enforce greater and better leadership where we are. God has put us in our families, in our neighborhoods, so that we can, men, we can be men and women who will be able to enforce greater and better leadership around us because he has prepared us, he has shaped us for leadership this year.